Hello, parasites. Welcome to the Venom Vlog. <laughs> Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog, and we are finally taking a look at the Venom Marvel Legends figure from Hasbro. I'm so excited for this. It's so awesome that this toy was even made, and uh, I'm so glad that I finally own it. I pre-ordered it a few months ago. It finally showed up uh, about a week ago, and I've been holding on to it ever since. Uh, so now, since I figured I had some free time today, I would finally make this video for you guys, and we would open them up and check them out. And I'm sure you've seen other toy reviews of it. You know, I, I'm just kind of, I don't do too many of those anymore, mainly because the COPPA thing, you know, I want to make sure I stay within the guidelines of a, a, a teen-rated show show and stuff but he looks pretty gruesome i feel like uh, it's not really a toy that's geared towards kids because of the collectability of it and also because of the articulation and all that stuff it's kind of more for you know older collectors or at least teen and up so i figured it'd probably be safe you know to cover here and talk about and if i get any more of the figures in the set i'll definitely do videos on them as well um, but this uh, on the back of the box it says failed reporter eddie brock is hijacked by an alien entity that takes a liking to Earth and decides to protect it. You know, I'm glad we got this figure and we got a movie version of Venom. And he's pretty big. This is a big dude, man. Um, I got to say, he's only 20 bucks. So if you see him out there, definitely pick him up. All right. So now without further ado, let's crack this open and check him out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And here he is in all his awesome symbiote glory. This thing is so cool. I really like the paint job on this. Obviously, they just went with black mostly. I mean, that's what Venom is. And we don't get the spider symbol, but that's obviously accurate to the movie. And we have, you know, I have a ton of toys with Venom, and he has the spider symbol on him. So it's nice to have a movie-accurate one. And who knows, maybe over the course of the movies, these, you know, electricity-type vein things will form a symbol at some point. Because now he's able to meet Spider-Man, as far as I know. Uh, he's able to meet Spider-Man Tom Holland at some point. So, yeah, maybe we'll still get that uh, down the road. But for now, you know, having this version is great. Because, uh, you know, that just helps build on all the various versions we've had of Venom before. Like the Madness, where he has all the heads behind him, you know. Know, and uh, you know like there was that underwater toy venom <laughs> there's like you know all these fun toy versions of them but this version you know like I said I, I kind of like the movie design I think it's cool and if you're going to do a version with venom without spider-man they I think they pulled it off pretty well with the look and I can't wait to see what Andy Serkis adds to that look and to the look of carnage in the next movie um, but as far as the toy goes you know we have uh, all the regular points of articulation we have a joint on the foot so you can actually bend the foot all around which is really awesome um, you can do the knee in two spots so you got the two points in the knee the thigh swivel up here and then you also have this swivel here so you got the ball joint in the upper thigh and then you got the swivel right there which is pretty standard in a lot of marvel uh, legends figures nowadays um, you got the ab crunching so you have the top part and then you also have the bottom part which crunches snaps back and forth on the hips um, then you obviously have kind of a ball joint in the arm, so it can go in every direction. And uh, then you have the swivel at the bicep. You got the elbow bend as well. And uh, you got the hand that, uh, you know, pivots side to side, swivels around. And then obviously a ball joint on the head, uh, which is cool. And uh, speaking of head and hands, you can actually tear these off, um, not easily, <laughs> but you can tear them off. And you can put a fist. So he comes with two fists. So if you want to have him, you know, in fighting poses and things like that. I like to have him looking kind of feral like I did when the uh, clip first started. And he had his hands out to the sides like this. Um, but you can have him with a fist like, I'll get you, Spider-Man. <laughs> uh, so you can do that kind of pose with him too. Um, and then obviously along with the fist his head. You can switch out his head. There is no Tom Hardy Eddie Brock head, unfortunately. Uh, I think that would have been cool, but that could have been like a licensing, get the rights to his look, likeness kind of thing. Um, could have been something related to that. So put him up, put him up. And here he is with both of the fists attached now. And then he's got the new head where the tongue is inside. And then obviously you have the other head that you can put on the outside. And yeah, I had a jump cut there because I didn't hear it pop in this head when it, when I, pressed it in into the ball joint I didn't hear it pop and normally you do and I didn't hear it pop uh, and that could just be me because obviously I only hear it in one ear but I didn't hear it so that's why I was like wait did it pop in but it did so I didn't have any problems with it uh, the joints move really fluidly um, you know for a new figure sometimes you gotta you know work them in a little bit but he actually 
does pretty good and uh he's looking awesome so yeah this figure like i said i think it runs about 20 bucks like 19.99 is like the average retail price for it um, and you can find it at hasbro pulse if you want to order it online or i believe they're in target and walmart stores now so you can find them there and they come with a line of other figures obviously they all come with build a figure parts that you can build for venom pool um, which is like the Deadpool Venom, but this one did not have any Build-A-Figure parts. It's just him, which uh, means if you're just out there to collect every version of Venom and you just want Venom himself, you can get this without having a body part uh, from, you know, Venom Pool. And that, you know, obviously sometimes they do that and you're like, oh, and now I have one piece. I should go buy all the other ones. It's like a, a thing to help entice you get the whole series. But Venom is solo. He's all by himself, so you don't have to worry about that. And there's also, I think, a exclusive Captain America, Venomized Captain America, that you can get that also doesn't come with a... A, uh, you know figure part so if you want someone in the new series for him to fight but you don't want the build of figure pieces you can find captain america out there too leave your comments down below so i can eat them i mean respond so uh yeah let me know what you guys think of this like me personally i think the figure is cool not a lot to show as far as detail goes i mean you know obviously he's got the you know, the, the lightning strikes, or, you know, or like whatever the veins, whatever they call, are, um, you have them. They don't really explain them in the movie. They're just like, hey, we need something to break up the black, which is kind of, yes, from a design standpoint, that makes a lot of sense. You can't just have them solid black. It's would be weird to have a character run around that's, you know, just, just one single color. It's like a ninja. So, um, you know, and Venom's very much not a ninja. <laughs> He's, he makes a lot of noise wherever he goes. Mask! <laughs> And I love the grin. Like, they did such a good job on the face on this one. Let me zoom in just a little bit. Um, they did such a good job on the face. Even, like, right there, there's still the cut. And you can see the red meat under his uh, teeth and his gums and stuff. Like, the muscle there. Uh, it's really cool. They did a good job. And then same with the other one. The, uh, the other head with the uh, tongue. They did a great job here, too. Where you get, you know, kind of the whole package there and that tongue is awesome it kind of mirrors that movie poster image uh, that they released which is really cool and then yeah the hands even have like the little designs on the back of them too so when you put them on they line up with the arms you know pretty well so yes great figure i love them you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below and as always we'll continue our conversation down there thanks so much for watching the show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you in the future Peace.